Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. House of Virgo, this is Kelly. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that subscribe button and do hit the like button if you enjoy this reading. Um, this is going to be your weekend reading, Virgo, coming up. Um, happy birthday, if you have a birthday today and yesterday. Um, okay, let's get into this. So keep in mind some of the messages may or may not be for you take what fits leave the rest this is more of a predictive message um and this is also a channel for virgo sun moon rising or venus all right and also if you want to get a personal reading with me there is a link right underneath my profile picture actually youtube has changed everything here in the channel okay let's get into this so you're starting with karma then you have twin flame and then you have money okay <laughs> there we go All right, let's see what your romantic message is here. So starting off the weekend, karma. This is maybe a toxic story or a new opportunity. All right, let's take a look and see what the romance message is here. Starting off your weekend, Virgo. Okay, you've got honeymoon. Enjoy the holiday. Uh, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay. So... There's definitely something happening here where um, whatever karma you have put out, whether it's positive or negative, it looks like good karma coming back your way. And it looks like there's going to be some kind of like nice time together with another person. Okay. So yeah, you've got a, looks like a past, a, a reconnection with someone, maybe from your past. Uh, could be an Aquarius, but there is a healing energy. So I do feel like something's coming back to you starting over this weekend, Virgo. And um, it could be someone, like I said, for some of you, there could be like a healing energy from a toxic relationship. You do have twin flames, so that could represent um, a twin flame relationship that's evolving into the healing stages. Now, it doesn't mean someone's going to reach out. <laughs> it could, but it, it looks like you know the mercury retrograde has started We're still in venus retrograde until the 4th of september so i do feel like um the, I, I just get this sense of some good that you've done or some healing energy that you've done or that you've put out to either other people or another person is coming back to you virgo in a very positive way okay I feel like <laughs> something that you've said, maybe you forgave somebody for something or you gave someone a pass or um, you just let go of something. There is an energy of like kind of revisiting this and perhaps somebody else revisiting this, balancing things out, rethinking. I feel like somebody here feels like maybe they had you pinned, pinned wrong. Um, there's definitely someone thinking about you over the weekend like i said this is an energy of someone from your past okay so you know they're re they're rethinking the whole they're, they're rethinking a whole thing okay something that you've put out that's what i just keep seeing here and a healing from a toxic connection or healing like getting out the tumor the cancer out of a situation um cutting away all the dead rot having a new beginning a new opportunity so like i said it, there it could be for some of you could hear from someone starting over the weekend starting on the weekend but for others it's just an energy it's an energy shift it's a change um that star definitely represents a renewal and having hope and someone is thinking about recycling the relationship in a better way okay healing a type of relationship so on the love front that's what i feel like how the weekend is starting now as far as like other things going on in your life there is this energy of whether or not to lend some money to someone perhaps a sibling or help a sibling out um, with a financial investment to invest in something um 
seeing if there's enough money to do that or to make a loan to invest in somebody's company or something um, to help someone out okay um, this can speak of good karma as well and also someone if you you are in if you're I don't want to say in need of money but if, if there's if there's something that you you need financially I feel like someone here is if you've asked somebody for help or just to give you a loan I, I do feel like um, there is someone definitely considering it okay more so like over this weekend whether or not they can or juggling funds there is an energy of juggling funds okay um, there's something here also about children paying for children I'm seeing or giving to some kind of charity for children as well whether or not there's enough money or how much to give this could be just dropping some extra coins in the jar on the counter for, for others this is like giving a huge amount to charity so it runs the gamut from one or the other there's also an energy here about um, having enough funds or thinking about having enough funds to plan that trip plan some kind of trip somebody might actually be thinking about taking one of those spaceship rides i mean whoa <laughs> maybe that's something you're considering um you could be i mean that's kind of cool you could be thinking like i don't know anything about that but i just i just feel that energy i'm feeling like up in the stars with the planets somebody taking um a trip uh, don't they do like trips to the moon or something like that okay um, and that's quite enjoying some bliss on some kind of vacation okay so there is something here also about um questioning about uh, any funds left after a vacation as well and as far as work goes i do see um you being considered for a public position whatever that might mean a public type of career or position or thinking about going into that um i feel like there's going to like that's a good thing that's like a destiny thing for you um if you get an offer like that or if you're um, thinking about going into something like that i feel like positions are going to be opening in some kind of public position now some of you could just be working with in astrology or doing something with tarot thinking about starting a business or getting into that um as a source of income as well so taking a little bit of time out as well to think about that over perhaps this weekend okay so several different messages going on there and they just said there's also something here about the health and they're saying take the medicine or you will get approved for some medicine or some holistic type of medicine or alternative medicine there there will be um an approval for that okay um but right now it's in this process of maybe going through insurance or trying to see if there's enough money or trying to see if there's a way to save um purchasing some type of medicine either for yourself or children or somebody else um you know how you can get like some type of discount of some sort if you buy medicine in like bulk or something like that okay so the energy for friday is you know i tried to give all the different messages here let's see what's going on saturday you've got twin flame virgo okay i hope you guys can see this because you know what i put my um i put a black light on i'm being that person Hopefully that'll brighten it up a little bit. Okay, you've got twin flames. So there's spiritual alignment, effortless, karmic. And you've got karma here. So there's definitely a twin flame energy playing out this weekend heavily. Let's take a look and see what's going on there with that. Um, okay, twin flame messages for Saturday. What's going on? Virgo. Okay, romantic feelings. Wow, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so there's um, romantic feelings connected to a twin flame this weekend. Let me see. Oh, wow. You've got the magician. Okay, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
who thinks that you guys are a twin flame, has romantic feelings, and wants to start something up with you over this weekend, has feelings for you. Romantic feelings, absolutely. New opportunity. This might be connected to this person on Friday as well. Um, you know what, Virgo? You're getting some kind of offer from a fire sign over this weekend. Either for travel, to go somewhere, or to do something. Okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, sign, sun moon, rising, or Venus. Um, you, uh, wow. I feel like someone is, um, going to kind of lay their cards out on the table here for you. This could be somebody from far away as well, or you might have a conversation online or on the phone, um, or maybe on like Skype or FaceTime, see each other. You could be at a distance. You don't have to be, um, or there's just some kind of like, um, wireless communication or over the over the net uh, as well some type of communication happening over this weekend i feel like you're i feel like you're you're either getting asked asked out or you are they're being they're offering uh something a new opportunity to maybe travel or go somewhere or do something for this weekend or maybe next weekend um to make plans i'm just picking up worldwide web vibes here and you know what this is crazy. <laughs> so the magician here has this wand. And this person on the world card has two wands. Hmm. Could be good to go see like a show. Uh, music as well. Someone's asking another person to go see. Um, maybe a, a, go to a festival or go to a music show. I'm picking up like drums. Like a drummer. Or go to some kind of parade. It doesn't have to be this weekend, like I said. It could be for any time going forward. Uh, it could be like um, a show where there's performers. Yes, there's some type of performance. I feel like there's um, an offer coming in to go see a, a performance or a show. Now, for some of you, this could just be, well, I was going to say a friend, but no, it's romantic. Yeah, this, you know, this, it could be a friend that turns romantic as well, but this is, um, very much over the weekend expect to hear from someone over the weekend about doing something either over the weekend or on saturday or sunday or um, plans for uh something in the future to do something but it's a twin flame okay definitely and um let me just get a couple clarifying cards here because we do have gemini showing up here okay so this person is like single as a pringle I'm going to tell you that this person is on their own. Um, they have a good bit of money. They're stable. They have a decent job. I don't, they could be in banking or commerce, finance, something along those lines. Could be somebody at work as well, connected to where you, you work at your, uh, like at a job. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, this person is, I feel like they're coming into, um, make an offer you've got two aces now i'm not seeing um cup energy there is one ace of cup one cup here on the magician's table and so there's an ace of swords there's an ace of cups an ace of pentacles and an ace of wands so this is definitely brand new beginnings all around but what's going to show up mostly is really the start of new communication victory and uh, someone just hearing um, wanting to invest in you in a relationship or spend time with you. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. So I would keep your eyes and ears, e eyes and ears <laughs> peeled, eyes and ears peeled for some type of communication from someone who is. I don't know that you consider this your twin flame. You might, and. And I do feel like they feel that way, but I also feel like this, the message they're giving me is this is a, uh, maybe neither one of you know each other or neither one of you, uh, if you do know each other, see that about the relationship, but Spirit's coming in to say it is a twin flame connection on Saturday, okay? Um, 
And if it's related to Friday, it's a start. It's something brewing here. There's definitely something brewing. Now, I want to tell you also, there's a, there's a new um, financial opportunity, new job, raise money coming in as well. Okay, there's a new client. If you have clients showing up, um, that you're going to be able to make magic happen for, <laughs> and they're going to pay you very well. Um, there's also someone coming in, there's a job offer coming in from afar. So this may be remote work where you get this offer for this position, um, or it could be involving travel. So it could be something to do with working in entertainment. Um, for others, it could have something to do with um, finances. Uh, it could be something, a, a, tr a, a job that involves travel, like in other words, uh, working for airlines or transportation or something along those lines, whether that's in the office or actually out there on the ground. So for some of you, if you have anything lined up, I feel like it's going to come in or there's going to be an offer coming in for you. And I also feel like check your emails I'm hearing. There might be something, it might go to junk mail. So make sure that you check junk mail or spam or something if it's an unknown sender. Yeah, there's also a raise and, or a bonus coming in as well. Okay, and as far as your health goes, um, I'm hearing you, if you're getting any kind of um, cosmetic surgery or actual uh, surgery, or you're looking into that, I feel like you find a doctor or a physician or a specialist that they're hearing uh, or they're saying I'm hearing um, will take either your insurance or there's a discount or um, you may have to travel but I feel like it's it's a yes you're going to be able to get something uh, they're giving me big, big surgery vibes so you know that could be anything um, there's lots of different surgeries out there really not giving me any kind of uh, specific thing. But it's definitely something where I feel like this person or this surgeon, whoever it is, is going to change, help change so much in your life, okay? Because the Nine of Pentacles, so, uh, you know, specifically if this is for you, the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like it's representing your energy. And the Nine of Pentacles, for a lot of you, this could have something to do with lo uh, luxury and beauty. Um, uh, you know, the physical, cosmetic type of energy. Um, this could be an elective procedure for some. It's, it's going to happen. Yes, it's definitely going to happen. And it's going to make you... So if it's cosmetic, um, you're going to feel really good about yourself, Okay really, really good about yourself. And even if it's not elective surgery or something that you're looking into, it's go it's, I feel like it's still going to be beneficial to you. So it's definitely a yes. It's definitely going to be a go. Okay. Um, okay. Let's move on and see what else is showing up here for you. So yeah, Sunday, you've got money, wealth, luck, finances. Now just remember, it's a weekend reading. So these are the messages are coming out this weekend. Doesn't mean it's all playing out this weekend. It could be happening up through the rest of the month into September. Okay, so that's not, it's timeless. So I don't want to focus too much on specific dates and things like that right now. Just want to tell, like get prepared for these messages. All right, let's take a look and see what love is showing up. Oh, wow. Engagement. Your love life is... Yeah, you know what, Virgo? Let me just say on the love front, you and your twin flame are going to have like some kind of an engagement in the future for sure or some kind of higher level of commitment. Finances have a lot to do with this situation. Wealth and luck. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's the Knight of Cups. Temperance. Page of Wands the devil <laughs> there was a little something you know we did see the word toxic so i'm not telling you to like marry someone who's abusive or get into a relationship with them okay use your discernment but i feel like 
Two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl year after year. Running over the same ground. And how you found the same old fears. Wish you were here. Somebody is either singing that song. It's not me. I didn't even sing it. Someone has that song in their mind and they know the words. Or that song reminds another person of someone. Okay, so I think that was Pink Floyd. Wish you were here. There's also Incubus is Wish You Were Here, which I think is much better. But um, there's a proposal coming, and it is attached to money. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I mean, okay, that's fine. Um, there's an engagement ring as well that someone's either looking at or is getting ready to purchase to make a love proposal offer. Knight of Cups energy. Um, we've got Libra, Taurus, Capricorn, Sag. You are definitely either receiving something um, or hearing someone tell you that they want to progress the relationship to the next level or a relationship. I feel like it's a twin flame. I know that's not going to be for all of you, but I do feel like it's a twin flame. I will say that someone thinks you're absolutely... Uh, gorgeous handsome beautiful attractive physically and sexually attracted to you go over to my only fans there's an entire reading about that aspect totally link is in the uh, description box but i can tell you right now whoever this twin flame person is um you know and you you know for some of you like i have to say you you might not even know that this is a twin you might have thought maybe somebody else was your twin flame and, and i don't know if this person's gonna sh there's a lot of aces here so this could be somebody new showing up for some of you that it's like oh shit um and for others you know the six of cups is there so that could be you know some of you know who your twin flame is you just know and others of you are like nah i, th I thought i knew but i didn't i'm ready for the new but this card really tells me that this is a twin flame here. And I, I, let me explain why. Because no matter what struggle, it's like you guys are always in it together. Or there's always this coming back to each other. Not always, but in this reading, I do feel like this is the message here. Okay. And I, I, I just see like a lot of new beginnings. I mean, I, I feel like there's like... This proposal that's coming in, or this offer, it this it feels like I don't want to say blessed because I don't feel like it's it's a blessed thing. I feel it's more like a like a wow, lucky, like oh my gosh. Somebody feels extremely lucky to have known you or to know you or to get to know you. You know, the, the, the word luck is just, it's screaming at me here. If that shamrock shows up again, I swear, or four-leaf clover. Now, so Virgo, I feel like on the love front, this weekend especially, the energies are shifting. Keep yourself, like, just, I don't know, get some popcorn or something, because this feels like a damn Hallmark movie or TV show or something. Um, there's also... A possible pregnancy for some of you and uh, this is like building the family together there's a, a little boy perhaps coming along for others of you this is like the change of life um, and someone I'm just hearing could be somebody younger also who is crazy and wild, wildly crazy about you and your upper age if you're in your you know change of life period masculine or feminine is tremendously attracted to that or even if they're the same age i don't know virgo i just feel like there's something about you showing up here as the empress but you also show up with that devil <laughs> where you're like i just feel like some there's 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 an energy here of not being able to get away not being able to get away and it's like somebody wanting to hold on to you almost like possess you like they just i know that sounds kind of creepy and i don't mean it in a creepy way so let's not try to take it that way it's just that energy that pull that somebody has some kind of crazy pull to you 
and something's brewing for sure on the love front okay you know what for career I, I gotta say you're gonna be leaving a job for sure um, because you get some kind of offer that comes in that pays a lot more money or there's you know a lot of wealth attached to this job the offer is going to come in you're going to make a lot more money um, it could be working with people who have addictions or um, a type of job that kind of I don't know with that devil energy it could have something to do with um, I'm hearing uh, because the de all right so I'm gonna I don't know why I need to tell you why but I'm hearing Los Angeles um, some type of work in Los Angeles and the devil kind of is cueing me into that because Los Angeles generally is called the city of Los Angeles and Lucifer was a lost angel um, yeah yeah they're, they're just giving me this Los Angeles vibe so either it's leaving Los Angeles to take a job elsewhere if you are in that area or if you're in any other area and taking a job in LA that um that is playing out for some of you. And as far as your health goes, too, we're, I'm also picking up, um, there is some kind of like, uh, if you have struggle affording health care, medicine, or any kind of um, doctor visits, or, you know, related to anywhere in your body or anything else going on, um, I do feel like there will be... Um, a gift coming to you to help pay for something as well okay i kind of like that i mean i feel like that's somebody actually makes the offer to help out or to cover the expenses is what i'm hearing now that that could be a person place or a thing for some of you as well um so it could be anywhere from like charity to a religious or um spiritual um company or corporation or you know a corporation organization um that will help you that could also be um like even like planned parenthood or government assistance or something along those lines that is going to help you with i'm feeling some reproductive issues here for some of you um and if it's not you you don't have that reproductive issue it's it for the masculines um it could have something to do with um, um, taking some vi Viagra, I'm hearing, or getting some kind of, <laughs> they're just saying like um, medicine, taking some kind of medicine, and balance something out. Okay, I just had to address that for the masculines. I just felt that really strong. It could be hormone, repl HRT as well. I'm picking that up, some HRT, either changing um yeah changing the hormones that's 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 the biggest message i'm getting okay um i just want to what do i want to do now i'm being called oh they said to just get a charm okay they said just get a charm and leave virgos with these messages for this weekend okay that's interesting so you do have a horse okay so there might be something betting on horse races might be significant over the weekend or going to horse races somebody might actually have a horse or work with horses these animals doing something i'm not really sure what um somebody might be born in the year of the horse also uh riding horses on a beach too i'm also seeing that um, i'm also seeing like a carriage ride on a horse they're giving me that image maybe making plans to do something someone might live out there in um near amish near the amish somewhere in pennsylvania uh, somewhere around there and and then they just gave me they just said to me the rocky mountains something about the rocky mountains and you also have a leaf okay somebody's name could be leaf as well the leaf represents um growth i'm hearing growth um and somebody is leaving i'm hearing someone is leaving so 
either leaving by horse, I don't know, <laughs> tying the horse up on the side of the street, I don't know, leaving by horse, that's, I don't know what that means, and I'm also hearing, uh, are they, are they live by horses, that's the other thing too, okay, and then they're saying, um, I just heard smoking weed on a horse, I don't even know what that means. Do people actually smoke weed and like actual leaves? I guess they do. I don't know. I don't do it. So I don't really know anything about that. But I'm hearing smoking weed on a horse. <laughs> I don't know. These messages, the things that are, they're coming in so fast. I don't want to keep going into that. Um, yeah, I do want to get a couple of, let me see what other things they give you here, Virgo. Okay. So... Wait, they're giving me birthdays. Okay, September 22nd. September 5th. So, uh, August 31st. I also have the initials M-O, like Mo, M-O. Or it could be O-M. And let me see what else they want to give you. Well, this one's got nothing on it so that doesn't count okay so let's see you guys okay we have the letter f significant september 12th um november 18th is significant as well or at least the month of november I just want to get another one. Okay. So we have, I just heard Evermore. I just said Evermore. And um, Vera, V-E-R-A, I'm hearing, Vera. I'm hearing, um, yeah, okay, they're telling me a mover. Either someone's a mover and a shaker or someone is hiring movers over this weekend they're moving somebody's moving um somebody's also possibly planning a trip to rome planning a trip to rome um and you also have somebody who's born in six either born in 1961 or is or will be 61. I'm also picking up the age 31. And, um, <laughs> okay. Hold on, they're giving me another message. It's a little bit like a Ouija board. from somebody is from they're saying um they're, they're giving me that uh, so it's a ve from ve so i don't know what ve means i don't know if it's initials or the start of a, a place it could be Virginia, but there's no E in Virginia. It could be um, Van Vanuatu, or someone's from the Virgin Islands. Um, it's a place that starts with a V, and it's on in the east. It could be Vietnam, Vancouver. Yeah, okay. Somebody is from VE. Okay, that's that's a very interesting message. I don't really know. Oh, okay. And then I'm hearing, and I'm not really seeing it, but they said, tell, tell Virgo to listen to the song Frozen by Madonna. Frozen. Or somebody likes that song, they're saying. Okay, so that's going to be your weekend reading. That was kind of interesting. Like I said, you guys have been with me for a while, and I'm just starting these new intuitive messages with these dice trying to do something a little bit different. Um, it's a little bit, like I said, like a Ouija board. So if there's some dead air, that's me intuiting the messages 
forgive that. And uh, I hope you guys bear with me as I practice these, because when I'm not doing the readings here for you guys, um, I am practicing these these messages as well with the dice. So in my off time, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys. Hopefully. There'll be some improvements with that. Or maybe it's fine. I guess I'm just being insecure about it. I'll keep working on it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend for sure. And, um, you know, I'll be back here on Sunday morning to or Sunday afternoon for all of you who are members. So if that changes, I'll let you know ahead of time. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the reading that I uploaded before this. Yesterday was my birthday, of course. And I thought I uploaded everything and then I had company and I just completely, it wasn't until like, I don't even know, I popped on around like what, two, between one and three in the morning and I just wanted to check to see how the video was doing. I'm like, where the hell is it? I didn't even upload it. So yeah, you're getting back to back reading. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> all those messages. So have a great weekend. Don't forget to, um, check out my other my website and the link and everything and uh, if you want to get personal readings for september and i'll see you all back here have a good birthday and i will see you all back here on sunday all right take care bye